Hey y'all, welcome back to The Project Lady. I'm Brittany and I'm so thankful you're here. So today we are starting a new project and I'll be honest with you, I'm not super pumped about this project. It's gonna be a lot of work and it's kind of a project that I started many years ago. It was a fail and so it's just been in that state for several years, I'm embarrassed to say. and show you what we're dealing with. So our house was built in the mid 2000s, about 2004, I believe. And it has had these builder grade oak cabinets. In about 2019 or so, I did a refresh or I started a refresh in this kitchen. And I was gonna paint all of the cabinets this Elder White by Sherwin Williams. And what I did or what I didn't know was I was using the wrong paint. And it's a color that we got because we were going to paint a couple of walls and some doors with this color. We ended up not liking it. So I thought I'll just use it on the kitchen cabinets. It's in the same family as all wall color. So it'll work. Well, I quickly learned that, let me show you. Once I started painting these cabinets, and we started using the cabinets, the paint started chipping off. And this happened with, oh, probably within a couple of weeks. And once this started happening, I realized that I was using the wrong paint and I needed to change my approach, change my plan. So I basically just stopped it, dead in the water, decided I wasn't gonna do that project anymore. And then we have, kept it like that for years. So, and this is real life guys. Um, it has been in this state on the bottom for years. So the original oak, the boxes and stuff of the cabinet that I painted the white. So we've been living with this for oh, probably four years, which is really embarrassing. So we got new appliances and they're beautiful, but the cabinets are just ugly. I took this cabinet out and um, when we put in the new microwave, I took that cabinet out and put the shelf up here, which I really like. I wanna put some cute decor up there and make it a lot cuter. But let me back out and show you. Sorry about the clicking, the dog won't leave me alone. But So this is the view of the whole kitchen. So it's not a really big space. It's actually pretty small. Here's our pantry. Okay, so now you see what we're dealing with. Here's our plan. What we're gonna do is we are going to basically empty this kitchen out. So I'm gonna take all of the stuff out of the cabinets. I'm going to deep clean the inside of the cabinets. I'm gonna purge, get rid of some stuff. I may have to buy some new plates and bowls. I'm not really sure um, what we have and how much of what we have. So I'm going to take inventory of everything I have. It's, you know, turning from that summer to fall. I know that we're going to start using the kitchen more, be inside more. I need to make sure my crock pot is out where I can use it more often. Um, we've been using our grill and our air fryer and stuff, but I know things are about to change. There's also a couple of repairs that I'm going to have to make to the cabinets before I um, start painting, but my plan is I'm going to do a two-tone kitchen. So I'm going to do a black on the bottom and a white on the top. I feel like that'll just lighten things up. It's interesting. Um, also, I'm a big fan of black cabinets because they don't get as dirty. So if I can keep the bottom cabinets looking cleaner, uh, being black and not having the spots and different stuff on them, that'll also be pretty handy. So uh, let's get busy cleaning, let's get busy emptying, and let's get busy on this project.
sponsor of this video, Beyond Paint. They sent me some of their paint to complete this project and I'm so excited to share my experience. They sent me their cabinet kit, which includes a roller, a brush, and a paint tray, a cork and a pint of the licorice, and the same in bright white. It was all packaged really well and there was also a handy brochure included. Beyond Paint is the ultimate project paint. It is perfect for furniture, cabinets, countertops, and more. It's available in 19 pre-mixed colors, including countertop kits. It works on virtually any surface. No stripping, sanding, or priming is required. It's truly an all-in-one paint. It includes a primer, a bonder, and a sealer. The hardest part is honestly choosing one of the beautiful colors. Once you do, you just clean your surface and apply the paint. Beyond Paint bonds to most surfaces, including wood, metal, formica, laminate, plastic, granite, linoleum, masonry, tile, and even glass. It can be sprayed or rolled on. In today's project, I'm going to roll it on. It dries in roughly two to four hours between coats, which allows a quick project turnaround. It is a low VOC paint, low odor, non-toxic, and environmentally friendly. It's also made in the US. If you're interested in giving Beyond Paint a try, I have a link in the description box below. When using any kind of cabinet paint, prep is key. So I made sure and cleaned all of my cabinets with a degreaser and then wiped them down with vinegar and water solution. Once I began painting, I poured the paint into the paint can and I noticed that it was kind of a pudding consistency, very different from any other paint I've ever used. So whenever you start rolling like this, it's a lot different than painting with regular paint. I started off just putting pressure on the roller, which did not work. You just barely have to use any pressure with the roller and you want this smooth rolled on texture. You don't want the roller to drag in the paint. This paint is self leveling. So if you can get this method down of just barely applying pressure when you roll, it's a lot more successful. I really enjoyed using Beyond Paint. I was able to do my bottom kitchen cabinets with the provided paint. I had plenty of paint. I did two coats of the black on the bases and three coats of the black on the doors just to ensure a good solid finish. On the top cabinets, the white, I actually only needed two coats because I was painting white on white, so it covered really well. So far, I'm actually two weeks past when I painted these cabinets and they're holding up really nicely. Because Beyond Paint is water-based, the cleanup is really simple. When it's wet, it wipes up easily with a wet paper towel. And even when it's dry, it cleans up with soapy water. One of the greatest things about using Beyond Paint is the amount of help that they give you with their customer service and then also their brochures, their website, their instructions are spot on. So as long as you make sure and follow their instructions, you'll be really successful. It's really important that you use the roller because of the type of paint, that self-leveling paint, you don't wanna see brush strokes. So you only use the little brush to do a stippling or a smushing motion into the cracks and crevices. And then you use the roller primarily everywhere else. And if you do this, if you follow their instructions, you'll be really successful. Here we are after the first coat and as you can see I'm not being very picky about like around the drawer pulls and stuff because you'll never see this part so I'll go in with the brush here in a minute and make it look a little bit better but this is after the first coat I could have gone heavier with the first coat and probably gotten rid of some of this but I was worried about getting it too thick This first coat took me about 30 minutes. 
and that is back behind the fridge and then all the way around the kitchen on the bottom. I let the first coat dry about two hours, then I did coat two here, and then I let coat two dry overnight and did coat three the next morning, and then it was done. The next thing I did was I set out all the drawers so that I could start the process on them, and I removed all the hardware. Once I had all the hardware removed, I cleaned with my favorite method degreaser. After the degreaser, you can see Landry handed me a jug and it has some hot water and vinegar in it. So I went through and I wiped them down twice with this hot water and vinegar just to get any of the residue from the cleaner off there. And then I go in with my blue tape and I tape up just the tops of the drawers. This just keeps the sides of the drawers clean and although people don't really see it, it just looks a lot nicer when you open the drawers. Painting the drawers and the doors, I made a really conscious effort to get the edges really good and coated because that's where people, if it's going to get a nick in it, that's where it's going to be. So I just made sure to get a really good thick coat each time and smooth out any of the bumps or anything. And here in a second, once I show you after this first coat, you'll see it gives kind of an orange peel texture but it eventually levels out to where you can't see any of that texture and it looks really smooth and really nice. And with the cabinet doors, I followed the exact same procedure. I cleaned with a degreaser, I wiped it down with the vinegar and water solution, let it really good dry. I went in with my scrub brush in some places to get any of the grease and different debris off of the cabinets, wiped them down, and then did the three coats of the paint. One of the must-have products that you need if you're going to do any kind of painting doors or cabinets like this are these little red tripods. They just lift up your doors with minimal contact and they're super handy. And here you can see I'm using that stippling motion to go into the cracks before I use the roller. And it's really hard to tell, but like I mentioned before, I'm just barely putting any pressure down with this roller. This is the first coat that you're seeing here. Like I mentioned before, I ended up doing three coats on all of the cabinet doors, and this ensured a really tough finish.
once I finished painting or actually between coats of painting, I used this Dollar Tree shelf liner. I've used it in a couple of videos before and I'll link those below where I redid a desk and a lamp. I used this shelf paper, but I used this to line all of the bottoms of the cabinets. discovered that it was not in my budget to buy all brand new hardware. So I had this hardware that I had bought on Amazon probably five years ago when I started the refresh of this kitchen, but it was the antique bronze and I didn't want that anymore. So I spray painted it this gold. And then here in just a second, you'll see I used some of the extra Beyond Paint, the black, to antique the knob. So I just took a paper towel or a foam brush and just kind of rubbed on that paint and just added it in layers until I was happy with the antique look. doors had a couple days to dry I installed all the hinges and then installed all the doors back on the bottoms finished I moved on to the tops and they were a lot easier because like I mentioned I was painting white on white so it wasn't as dramatic of a difference and not as much coverage was needed so I just taped off everywhere and did two coats of the white paint on all of the cabinets I mentioned in my intro that we had to do some repairs on the cabinets because when we first installed our oven, we didn't fix this trim piece because we had to kind of retrofit it to get this new oven to fit. It was left like this with no trim piece, so we just had to kind of make some improvements and here it is after. Another thing that we had to do was we had to install the toe kick. We had to take that out also, so I just measured and put in some 4 inch trim, MDF trim pieces and painted them black. Here's a closer look at the finished knobs after they were antiqued. a look back 
back at the kitchen before. This is during that halfway renovation. And here's a look at the finished product. I'm so thrilled with how the cabinets turned out. Make sure you stay tuned for part two of this series where I do a couple more projects to get this kitchen renovation finished. And don't forget to click that link in the description box below to go give Beyond Paint a try. and I hope you enjoyed this project. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and go subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to go follow us on all of our social media. Now let's get ready for the next project.